all right we are at the aws console today let's understand one of the very important topic if you are especially solutions architect then we need to manage cost that is we'll explore today aws cost explorer so let's check out how to analyze cost so as soon as we open will be presented out with a uh, console so there are basically uh, different types of graphs here as you can see uh, this is kind of the uh, stacked uh, graph at the end we can also uh, look at the uh, bar graph this is a straight line graph here we, we can see the uh, services uh, what are the uh, how much amount they are consuming this is kind of like a, a line um, a graph kind of thing so uh, let's uh, put back to the stack bar graph uh, this is the uh, total uh, cost average monthly cost is very low for us so let's now explore uh, the uh, different things which we can uh, do so on the right hand side if you look at it there's a like time thing so we can mention the time range as well uh, from where we want we can mention it let's say uh, 0 05 uh, uh, let's say we want uh, till the financial year uh, 2024 uh, 31 maybe let's make it a little uh, like 04 maybe zero, yeah financial year uh, it looks good let's uh, select on apply so it will uh, show you on a uh, like on the calendar itself uh, what it's uh, applying basically so let's uh, click on uh, apply so if we uh, click on uh, apply so basically uh, you can uh, note uh, the cost is uh, uh, very low and here we can see the services uh, count uh, services count means the AWS services how many services uh, are there so our uh, most of the amount uh, what I can see is uh, if we scroll down a bit is coming from the EC2 instance uh, then uh, we need to pay some tax definitely so tax is also a consideration then um, inspector uh, this is a security service for ec2 we know that right so they, there are many services sometimes i've seen waf also uh, cost uh, tons of money because security um, services cost so uh, now let's uh, you have under since you've understood this date range now let's uh, uh, change uh, we can also select the granularity whether you want to uh, check it out on hourly basis or daily basis so hourly basis it will be definitely uh, very low uh, so uh, let's uh, now select the uh, dimension like we can also select uh, there are uh, many dimension to it if we want to select via the region uh, since I have spent uh, resources on multiple region so here is, is a region wise cost breakdown as well if we put uh, the cursor it will show you the region wise how we uh, see it there are many types so let's uh, select service then we can also uh, filter uh, using uh, the uh, specific service if we know like uh, the EC2 let's use uh, EC2 instance and apply so it will show uh, May 2023 how much uh, like around uh, 0.22 dollars uh, this is like March 2024 so we can also select uh, uh, filter out via the uh, specific AWS service if you want let's remove the filter uh, let's uh, there are actually many things like we can uh, select uh, choose tags if you have uh, selected like dev test environment do those kind of thing if you've already defined why the tags also we can uh, uh, choose it then let's uh, dive into some of the important topics uh, there is also a credit section right this is uh, actually we are paying uh, via the credit card or debit card whatever if uh, we use uh, credits so sometimes uh, AWS offers some kind of like um, a coupon code where you can use like $300 or $200 uh, it won't charge you uh, for the debit card or credit card you can use those uh, credits it is very uh, helpful in uh, doing hands-on you can save a couple of bucks so just remember this uh, credits it's uh, very helpful 
then also we have some uh, uh, machine learning features that is cost anomaly detection let's uh, click on it let's understand uh, uh, like uh, what it uh, can do uh, we can also try to create uh, uh, something out of it uh, definitely if we uh, uh, want so if we uh, show me around it will just uh, give you a tour it's a, a good thing if you're uh, if you're especially new to it you can uh, have this uh, tour and understand so we can uh, like uh, create our own any kind of anomalies we can uh, click on create monitor then uh, since we are uh, monitoring the AWS services especially we can there are other uh, options as well but the most used uh, widely used is AWS services because let's say suddenly you're using Redshift and the bill shoots to uh, $300 a day so those kind of thing if you want to detect we can uh, write it uh, give it uh, a name if we need to select uh, give it a name let's give it a name cloud guru Amit. tags optional uh, we can give it a tag doesn't matter let's select uh, uh, create new uh, we can we can uh, name a team let's name a cloud team anything we can do alerting frequencies how uh, weekly daily basis those kind of thing email uh, we need to type at least one we can uh, you can use your email i'm typing on dummy email and the threshold uh, the anomaly uh, like expected spend let's say uh, ten dollars or nineteen dollars whatever it will uh, send alerts kind of thing especially to the email we can uh, uh, give multiple email ids separated by commas as i mentioned here use commas to separate between email ids 10 max uh, we can give a recipient uh, we can create monitor i'm not creating it i i just wanted to uh, show that this feature is also available um so yeah that's uh, pretty much